And for more on this, we turn now to Cliff May. He's the president of the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. He joins us from our Washington bureau. Cliff, do you think an all-out civil war is in store for Egypt? I don't know, and I don't like to predict. I certainly think we can't rule out that possibility. Um, General Sisi has been very clear that he's giving no quarter, that he is not uh, in the mood for compromise at this point. Uh, the Muslim brotherhoods, you, you, brothers usually are in no mood for compromise either. They may see it as in their interest to back down a bit right now because they're taking casualties at a very fierce rate. If they are uh, prohibited as an organization, they will go underground. They have considerable strength within the, uh, within the country, and they have had, and they've been working for power for 80 years. So the conflict is not going away, whether it spins out to full-scale civil war is it's a possibility we just don't know. Well, there have been a lot of questions, as you know, about U.S. aid to Egypt. Do you think America should continue to help support the country financially? You know, I kind of don't agree with anybody on this exactly. We have a law on the books that after a military coup, aid must stop. I think it's our law. If it's a stupid law, change the law, but we should obey our own laws. The president should be seen as obeying his own law. Otherwise, how do you push the rule of law in other countries. Then the president could work with Congress to restore aid, but I think that aid should have certain conditions attached to it. In fact, I think U.S. aid should always have conditions attached. American taxpayers deserve to know how their money is being used. And I think the best uses for our money with the new government, if, uh, assuming it's going to be a military government for a while, is really development aid much more than it is military aid. The military likes getting F-16s and tanks and helicopters, and uh, they are not likely to use them against Israel, not because of the peace treaty, but because they lose such a war. Nonetheless, I don't think the most important thing to be sending to Israel right now are fighter jets. Well, how could fighting in Egypt affect other parts of the Arab world? All kinds of ways. Um, it is, it is, the society could be uh, heading to, be, to become a failed state. You could have al-Qaeda. Uh, establishing safe havens within the country. Indeed, we believe there are several thousand al-Qaeda combatants right now in the Sinai, and there'll be in other places as well. When you have the kind of chaos anarchy, and carnage you're seeing right now in Egypt and in Syria, and uh, not so great in places like Somalia, uh, you're getting into a very dangerous situation. If you're a country like Israel, it's sort of like you're in your house looking at your neighbors, all of whom are burning. That's, uh, that's a pretty difficult situation to be in. We don't know where any of this is leading, probably not to a good place anytime soon. Okay. Cliff May, thanks for your time. Thank you.